Hey guys, how's it going? So a few years ago, I did the Hockey Olympic predictions, and it went over pretty well, so I thought, why not do it again this year, except for the Stanley Cup playoffs? Now, for this time, I've drawn each of the 16 teams' logos, so I put a lot of time into this, so I hope you enjoy. So the round one is going to start off with Toronto playing the Washington Capitals. Uh, though a lot of people are writing off Toronto early, I think they're going to be competitive, they're going to be quick, and just like the season, all offense, and relying on Anderson pretty much to keep them in most games. They can't just rely on Anderson, though, because Washington can roll the four lines, and they have a great goalie of their own in Braden Holpe. I'm saying it's going to be close, game-wise, but I really think that Washington is just going to win this series. They're going to win four games to one. Next up is New York Rangers against the Montreal Canadiens. And again, this is going to be a battle of goalies as Henrik Lundqvist goes for the Rangers against Carey Price for the Montreal Canadiens. I have a feeling that if Montreal can score some goals, something they struggle to do all year, overcome a few injuries, and Carey Price being, well, Carey Price, I think they shouldn't have a problem. But if Henrik Lundqvist becomes a goalie of a couple of years ago and they really get some offense, I'm pretty, it's going to be close, but I think Carey Price is going to carry them to the next round. Yes, pun intended. I'm going to say they're going to win four games to two. Next up is Columbus against Pittsburgh. Columbus coming off of a poor season last year, and they're back in the playoffs, but they're playing last year's champions. They have an uphill battle, and if they can use their speed to get past the defense and try to make Matt Murray uncomfortable, I think they have a shot. But that being said, Matt Murray has had his first full season under his belt, and a guy named Sidney Crosby had an amazing year this year. Although they lost Chris Letang for the for the near future, I still think Pittsburgh is going to come out of this series. I'm saying they're going to win four games to two. And finally, Boston Bruins against the Ottawa Senators. This one was tough to predict, although I like Boston's experience. And with Marchand and Pasternak really becoming the this mainstays in the running offense of their team, they have had a few defensive injuries the past week or so, so that may be an issue. If Tukaras becomes the goalie that he can be, I'm pretty sure they're going to make a good run at it. As for Ottawa, they have a great goalie of their own, Craig Anderson. He's had such an emotional year, both on and off the ice. And if Ottawa can overcome many injuries that they've had all year, I honestly think that Ottawa could make a deep run with their defensive style playing. I'm saying this one's going to seven, and Ottawa's going to win four games to three. Over in the West, it's Nashville playing Chicago. And although Nashville has showed improvement this year, with Victor Arvidsson coming out of nowhere and Philip Forsberg scoring goals again, that's Chicago. Chicago is the right now the early favorites to win it all. They've had that main core that they've had for their previous couple Stanley Cups. I say Chicago plays like Chicago can. And I think they shouldn't have any issues. But I'm still going to say Chicago's going to win four games to two. Next one up is the St. Louis Blues playing the Minnesota Wild. This, like the Boston and Ottawa decision, it's tough. I mean, these two... Minnesota had a great start, and they started to stumble near the end, and St. Louis struggled with goaltending early on, but really picked it up in the second half. I'd like to say that St. Louis is going to take this series just because of their style of play, and with their goaltending getting back in order, and Tarasenko being one of the best offensive threats in the league. I'm still St. Louis, saying St. Louis is going to win this series four games to three, I'm thinking it's game seven. Next up is San Jose against Edmonton. Edmonton's back in the playoffs again, and the City of Champions are facing off against San Jose, a team who exercised some of their playoff demons by making it far last season, only to come up short. I say this is a battle of veterans versus youth, and in the end, I'm saying youth is going to prevail. Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisaitl, Jordan Eberle, and Co., they're just 
they have at least a two or three solid lines, and they finally have a good goalie in Cam Talbot. I'm saying that Edmonton's going to win this series four games to two. And finally, Calgary plays against Anaheim. Calgary needs to just do one thing. Exercise the demons that they've had on the road against Anaheim. They haven't won in a very long time in Anaheim. They even have a shot in this series. They're going to have to beat them on the road. Whereas Anaheim, as long as their their main core of Getzlaff and Perry contribute, their defense contributes goals-wise, and they get solid goaltending, I don't see why Anaheim couldn't run away with this. I'm saying Anaheim's going to win four games to one. So for a recap, Washington beats Toronto 4-1, Montreal beats the Rangers 4-2, Pittsburgh also winning 4-2 over Columbus, Ottawa going to 7 and winning over Boston, Chicago winning 4 games to 2, St. Louis 4 games to 3 over Minnesota, Edmonton play, wins 4 games to 2 over San Jose, and Anaheim winning 4 games to 1 over Calgary. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I put a lot of time and effort into put, drawing these logos out. So I do hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you liked it. Comment if you have something to say or you think maybe some of my predictions are off. And maybe say yours. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. See you next round. Bye bye.